welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn and today I'm going to be doing another Killstar haul. If you want to check out my last Killstar haul, you can click here and go check it out. But today I've got some cool things to show you as well. This is my Black Friday haul for the most part. A couple things in here I did get before Black Friday, but for the most part this is from Black Friday. My Cyber Monday order did not get here yet. It was supposed to get here a few days ago, but it's running late. So I won't be including that in this video, but I will be including it in a future haul, so look out for that. But in the meantime, uh, let's get into what I got. Over here I will be showing clips and pictures of me wearing the stuff that I'm talking about, just so you can see what it looks like on. I'm not going to be trying on everything in this haul, but most of the stuff I will try on and show you what it looks like. So first up is the only like household thing that I got which is this crystal wall hanger. I got it for my necklaces. Currently, all of my necklaces and chokers and stuff hang up there. And so I just wanted something a little bit different because that can be really annoying. I'll probably still keep my chokers on that, but I will move my necklaces to this. Next up, I am not going to show this on, um, but I got a bra. It is the She Bites bra, I believe, and it has straps in the front that seem kind of tangled at the moment. There we go. It's got the pentagram straps in the front, and it is a thin lace material, and has a little cross there which is whatever to me, but it's got like lace trim on it, and yeah, so I got um, this, and like I said, I'm not going to show that on, but maybe under something you might be able to see it, I don't know. Next up, I have the Liberty Studded Shorts. It's got these little cone studs all on it, and then it's got like a frayed hem at the bottom, the back is just bare. It is winter and cold here in America currently, so I won't be wearing these probably anytime soon, but I wanted to have them for the summer. Next up is this thing, I forget what it's called, but I'll put the name somewhere here on the screen. It's like an over thing um you'll see here but it's sheer and then got lace panels on it um it's a lot bigger than i was expecting it to be for the size like it's oversized it's also a little on the scratchy side but it's pretty comfortable still and the oversized thing isn't really a huge issue with me so whatever it's kind of hard to like show it this way, but hopefully over here you can see it a bit better. Next, I got the Naomi long sleeve top. It is a velvet top with more <laughs> lace trim on the bottom. Um, it's pretty low cut, it's a v-neck, and it's got these long, like, bell sleeves with more lace, <laughs> um, and then the ends are velvet. So, it's pretty stretchy. Um, I forgot to mention the previous two clothing items I showed were not stretchy at all, but this is fairly stretchy. And, let's see, the bottom... The lace also has a little bit of stretch to it. The sleeves are pretty long, but I might just have short arms, so I don't I don't really know. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable. Like I said, it is kind of low cut, so um, if a lot of cleavage is what you're going for, that's fine. But if not, then you might need something like under it. Next, I have the, I believe this is called Chloe headband. Chloe Chaos headband. Um, I don't know, but it's this black headband with spikes on it. Um, so that is what it looks like on. Um, 
I feel like it doesn't look great on me, <laughs> to be honest. I just use it to hold my hair back to do my makeup or wash my face or something. I don't wear it as an actual headband because I don't know, I just feel like there's something off about the way it looks on me. Maybe I just have a weird head shape, I don't know. Then next, like my last haul, I got two creatures. This time I got Latrodectus, which is a spider creature. Um, I got number 998, which is so close to an actual cool number, but whatever. My birth year is 1998, so it's close to that. Its legs are like floppy. I don't know, it's a lot smaller than I expected and I think a lot of other people felt the same way. It's it's okay. Um, he's got four eyes on the front and then like a skull, obviously. He's really soft, but I think it's just a lot smaller than I expected and I'm not a huge fan of the like cartoony look that they have going on recently with the Creepshires, so I don't love that. And I have all of the Creepshires to date, so I got him to finish my collection and he's cute anyway, so I'm not mad about it. Then I also got the new werewolf creature. It's got this purple pentagram on it and it's like fluff here. This is probably my favorite um, recent creature design. It's super cute in my opinion. I love dogs and wolves and everything like that though, so. For this one, I got 2143, which is kind of a cool number, I guess. But yeah, he's also really soft. Um, and that's his tail. I really like this creature a lot. Then I got the Raven pointed toe boots. These are like witchy boots with a pointed toe, as you can tell from the name. Um, they have this kind of lace, um, like the top couple just pull off and then the rest actually lace on. There's no zipper on them and they have this little pentagram on the back tab, but I haven't uh, worn them out yet so I don't know how comfortable they are, but I really love the witchy look to them and most of Killstar's heels are like four inches and I don't really like um, wearing that tall of shoes, so the, the fact that this had a smaller heel really appealed to me. And so I hope these are comfortable because I really love how they look. And that is the Raven boots. Next up, I got the Magica skater dress. Um, it's another piece. It's another piece that has straps in the front. It also has this choker attached to it. Um, but yeah, it's got straps in the front and it's velvet, which I actually didn't know until I saw a review of it in a Facebook group. And I'd seen this dress for like a couple years now and never knew that it was velvet, <laughs> but it is. And it is decently stretchy. It's not like super stretchy or anything, but it has a good amount of stretch to it. I haven't tried it on yet at this point, but it seems pretty comfortable, so I guess we'll see. Then I got the... I believe this is called Baby Hex Suspender Belt. Um, just take that off real quick. It's on a backing right now, but that is what it looks like. And then, when I take it off the backing, I saw in a Killstar Facebook group that a lot of people were saying that this is like really, really small um, for the bigger sizes. The smaller sizes seem fine, but the bigger sizes are apparently pretty small, especially the plus size one. I got the large to XXL, I believe. Yeah, the large to XXL. Um, 
and so I guess I will see how that fits. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. It's uh, not attached, apparently, because this just came off. But, yeah, anyway, um, I'm a little bit nervous about how it will fit, but hopefully it fits. <laughs> I can't get this off. So here are the. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so here are the leg parts. Um, there. And then this is the main belt part. Has a big pentagram there. And then these connect together somehow. I'll have to figure that out when I put it on. The ends have some decent stretch, so hopefully I'll be, be so hopefully I will be able to make that work. Next up, I have the what is this called pumpkin knit sweater. This is just another one of Killstar's like oversized stretchy sweaters. This is a small. Um, and it seems bigger than the mediums and large that I have, so that's interesting. Yeah, it's definitely a small, but I don't know, it seems bigger to me. That's what that looks like. It just looks the same as all the other sweaters except orange. Um, it's really soft. It's one of the Killstar sweaters, I don't know. I hauled one or two of them in my last Killstar haul as well, and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to get every color at this point, so this is the orange one. Next, I got this skull face mask. Um, I got it because of the way that it ties rather than loops around because I have ear piercings that can kind of get irritated from the loops. And I thought that having something that's a little more, like, I can tie it to go just this way, or I can tie it to go back this way, and I thought that that was probably a bit better for my ears than the loop ones. I haven't worn it anywhere yet, um, because I've actually just stuck with my looped ones. <laughs> but, um, I need to put this in my bag so that I remember to try out this one and see how that is, uh, for my ears. And then finally, I got the Haunted Pumpkin Lounge Leggings. Um, I love this pattern. It is so cute. It's got these little ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns and spider webs. Um, my husband thinks the ghosts look like sperm, which, I mean, they kind of do, <laughs> but they're still cute. It's got a good amount of stretch. They are pretty stretchy. I mean, they're leggings, um, and they have this little black bit at the bottom. And yeah, they're just like a really cute festive Halloween pattern. I don't know that I'll be wearing these the rest of the year, but probably because I just love Halloween. Alright, I think that was it for my haul today, so thank you for watching if you made it this far. Please leave a like down below if you like this video and if you want to see more hauls and let me know in the comments what your favorite thing from this haul was and if there's anything you want me to review more in depth or anything just from Killstar in general that you'd like a review on because um, I could totally do that. And please consider subscribing down below, it would really help me out. Um, as well as leaving a like and a comment, all that stuff helps as a small channel. Um, again, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye. Oh, Jesus, why am I so awkward? Fuck. <laughs>